Start time now. It is 11 o'clock on this Sunday night, May 4th, 2049. A Sunday night. It is time now for the Waterman Jusha PJ with the late night report. Sunday night, May 4th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. Our congregation is at 11 o'clock in North Massachusetts. We've got a temperature of 53 degrees with both cost guys. Humidity of 51% with speed. What's about 9 gusts at 20 miles per hour? 26 1 inch. Jupiter about 35 degrees. Visibility 10 miles. Wind chill about 50 degrees. All right, let's take a look at our radar scope. Show us a couple of bunch of rain shots. Our prime sand, a couple of bobs of rain shots. Needle and search it down. West of Worcester, New Springfield and search it down. And the picture is in Anfield. Albany, then in Capital District. Albany, New York, and search it down. Foo, stuff in New York, and pictures of Massachusetts, down from North Western Connecticut. And search it up in the Western and Northern Vermont, and up in the Northeastern. Ah, turn on down for seven and central portions of Quebec, and Northern, North Central portions of Quebec. And rain, sleet, and snow shots, one. East Newton, Quebec, and Northern, Northern, New Brunswick, and Northern, Northern, and down eastern portions of Maine. Line of rain shots, and then North Brunswick, and Northern, Central, and eastern portions of. Nova Scotia and Bachelor Rain Shots and Sleet in Southeastern and Portions of Prince of the Island Rain and Sleet Shots Southwest Portions of Prince of the Dirt Island. There you go. Snow Shots in West Central Portions of Quebec. Couple of inches rain shots in Central Portions of West Virginia and the South Central Portions of Ohio. Rainy Rand, the Cleveland area. Here. As we will take a look at the Cleveland radar. And it shows raining for much of the Cleveland area and western and southern suburbs of Cleveland there. And it's raining for much of northern Minnesota and after eastern North Dakota and after southern Manitoba and after southeastern Saskatchewan with some sleet and snow shots in north central North Dakota and after southeastern Pusha Saskatchewan there. Rain, sleet, and snow shots with northern portions of California and Africa, western Oregon and Africa, Washington State, and some sleet and snow shots in Cascades and mountains of Washington, Oregon. And rain and sleet and snow shots in northeastern portions of Oregon and east to Washington, Northern Idaho, and for west central central portions of Montana. Rain, sleet, and snow shots in east central portions of British Columbia and Africa. Some snow starts stuff western and central and north central portions of. Alberta Range has the east central portions of Alberta and Amfu, west central portions of Saskatchewan, northwestern portions of Saskatchewan. Toronto Valley, Canada, good evening, 30 degrees of less snow. Pine Ridge Reservation, South Dakota, good evening, 56 degrees with clear skies. Here. A one of a kind act that features eight acrobats suspended 35 feet in the air by their hair alone. It goes on to say, attention to detail keeps the acrobats safe every time. It even claims they use a special. Sound of the little bit, shells, come on, about Glass covered much of normal in the Nafu and one in Canada searching out of the Quebec Nafu and two and searching for much of Canada here and another batch of glass from Central Great Lakes and Nafu, Western Great Lakes and through the Middle Missouri, Mississippi Valley and search out of the Northern and Central Plains States and the Dakotas and searching out through much of the Rockies and out through the Northern Nevada, California and up in Oregon and Washington near. You can see it's upside down on the ground. A photographer from our sister station in Sacramento was at the air show and took this picture. Station Okay, take a look at the map situation. Station from, from British Columbia, stretch it down for Southern Alberta, down for Montana, down for Wyoming, and and warm front down for East Central Colorado, down for Kansas, and station cold front from East Central Kansas, and station from, from Missouri, stretch it down for Kentucky, down for West Virginia, and cold front from West Virginia, stretch it down for Texas. Warm front down for East Central Quebec, and cold front up the Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina coastline. There. And cold from Central California, and North Central California. Down for Nevada and then Utah. For the from West Central Texas, down for North Central Mexico. For the bottom, down for Carolina. Then a fun boy, Food Quebec. And another fun boy from South Central Saskatchewan, down for South Central. Alberta, and then fun boy off to Oregon, near. For the from Southeastern California, down for West Central Baja, California. We got low pressure from Washington, stretching down for Idaho and Montana, down for Northern Utah and Colorado, and down for North Central Texas. Low pressure in Virginia, off the New England coastline and off the Florida coastline here. Warm front in Cuba and cold front out for the Florida coastline. And high pressure in the Gulf of Mexico, 
No Mexico and Western Ontario. 52 degrees that temperature down in Boston and 63 on Washington DC. 76 in Miami, 76 down in Atlanta, 72 in Brownsville, 85 in Dallas, Texas, 75 in Kansas City, 48 in Chicago, 55 in Minneapolis, 83 in Albuquerque, 76 in Denver, 72 in Salt Lake City, 65 in Los Angeles, 64 in San Francisco, 54 in Great Falls, and 52 in Seattle. Current conditions, man. Region, we got a temperature of 51 degrees. For the temperature reading for Boston, 40 for Ben, 49 in Fitchburg and Beverly in Gloucester, 46 in Worcester, 49 in Sturbridge, 53 in Worcester and Milford, and in Norwood, 53 in Taunton, 52 in New Bedford, and in Falmouth, 48 in Provincetown, 51 in Chatham, 53 in Marfa's Vineyard, 52 in Nantucket, 52 in Cape Cod Bay, it's 50 in Wesley, 52 out in Wesley, 50 in Block On, 48 in Smithfield, 47 out in Amherst, 50 in Springfield, 49 out in Greenfield, 48 in Orange, 44 in North Amherst, 42 in Pittsfield, 48 in Albany, 44 in Bennington, 48 in Brattleboro, 46 in Keene, 45 out in Jeffrey, 47 in Concord, 46 in Manchester, 50 in Nashua, 53 in Parts of Manchester, 51 out in Bay of Nampshire, 51 in Windsor, 54 in Hartford, 54 in Meriden, 52 in Waterbury, 52 in Denbury, 55 out in New Haven, 56 in New Bridgeport, 59 in New York, 56 in Islip, and 60 out in Monta. Alright, let's take a look at our current conditions around. Show me forecast discussion. Until the weather perspective of the parts of the West United States, and temperature will be 10 to near 15 degrees above average over the parts of the Southern Iron Plains. Across the state, traffic extends from the Atlantic Coast westward to the North Northern High Plains and Southwest Twin in the Great Basin will remain over the region. Fat Tuesday, upper level energy will change in the Great Basin will remain in producing light rain and mountain and soil at some are the highest elevations of the part seven and off first. These were to the parts of the Northern Iron Plains from Sunday evening to Monday morning. On Monday, the rain will continue over the parts of the Pacific and off first and the Northern Iron Plains with regions of showers and thunderstorms over parts of the Northern Rockets and Northern Iron Plains by Monday evening. Rain will expand in the parts of the Northern Plains by Tuesday morning rain with snow development over the parts of the Northern Plains instead of parts of the Great Basin to Europe. Meanwhile, low pressure over over New England related in produce and light rain over parts of the area part of the Tuesday morning in addition to level and June in the produce and light rain over parts of the set elevations and Sunday evening in the new area rain will be developing over the upper Mississippi Valley, upper Great Lakes and the High Valley in the very early Monday morning that will be moving towards the central elevations in Atlanta by Monday evening. Forecast discussion in New England here. Low pressure near Nova Scotia will provide a cool and blustery night across southern New England. The seasonally cool and dry weather prevails by midweek when until the weather of wet ones are expected at the end of the week in the weekend. To be an update, most of the shower could be from late this afternoon as it dissipated with the excitement across the eastern New York and western New England border where some up so far in the of the cool shower activity in the region. A wise rain time will continue as mid level show wave moves far off to a more colder vector in west northwest peak grad develops over the southern New England and providing a cool blustery night ahead. Temperatures different in the 40s towards sunrise, but the with west northwest provide wind chills under 30 is not very spring like. Police are searching for the car that hit this team in Needham. Kaylee Wasserman was jogging on the Mark Tree Road Saturday when she was hit. She said the driver of a white Toyota Camry, possibly with Rhode Island plates, ran a stop sign, hit her, left her lying in the pavement. If you have any information, you are asked to call Needham Police. And police also need your help tracking down the driver who struck a 12 year old girl in Newton and took off. All right. Let's take a look at the highest wind gust here and the highest we see. Blue Hill. 54 miles per hour. And at Logan Airport, it's 46, 45 in Worcester, 43 in Norwell, 44 in Mars Vineyard, 41 in Fall River in Hyannis, 40 in Windsor, it's 41 out in TF Green Airport. Okay. This kind of turnout. Roughly 5,000 runners in Boston. Tomorrow's eyes, we will see 64 temperature. 64 degrees in Boston. 16 in Worcester. 66 in Hartford. 67 in New York City. 61 in Albany. 63 in Cockney, Hampshire. 56 in Redland, Vermont. And 61 in Park, Maine. So. The temperature range will be 56 to 67 degrees here. Bus stop forecast 70 and 49 degrees and 2 p.m. 63 degrees. Park cost cost tariff at the bus stop. Bring a like, check us for just in case. Alright, let's take a look at our deck 
p.m. at 11 o'clock tonight. And it is a clear and Patrick Cloud night over the reservoir. A little breezy in the air, but a clear and a cool night on tap and a cool morning on tap for tomorrow morning and a cool day on tap for the day. <gasps> tomorrow, okay. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this. First, uh, over nine hours in the night. While you're sleeping, you're over nine hours in the night. We are going to see some podcast skies with a low on 44 degrees. West wind about 911 miles per hour, 32 miles per hour. For Monday, back to work, back to school. I chance the showers afternoon. Back to the sands, got down near 65 degrees enough. West wind about 10 to 30 miles per hour, got 26 miles per hour, chance of is 20%. For Monday night, podcast got low to 39 degrees northwest with about 3 to 6 miles per hour. For Tuesday, slight chance of shots between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. Most of the night skies are near 64 degrees northwest with about 68 miles per hour, chance of space is 20%. Tuesday night, most of the coast got low to 42 degrees northwest with about 7 miles per hour. Wednesday, slight skies are near 65 degrees. Wednesday night, podcast got low to 44 degrees. Thursday, most of the night skies are near 64 degrees. Thursday night, chance of shots, most of the got low to 47 degrees, chance of space is 30%. Friday, chance of showers, most class got high near 61 degrees, chance of space to 30%. Friday night, chance of showers, most class got low in 50 degrees, chance of space to 40%. Saturday, chance of showers, most class got high near 67 degrees, chance of space to 40%. Saturday night, chance of showers, most class got low in 53 degrees, chance of space to 50%. Sunday, chance of showers, most class got high near 65 degrees, chance of space to 40%. Bears with a phase of the night! A clear and a cool and day on top of the mouth. This is BJ's here for you. Good night with a good positive attitude. I'll be seeing you tomorrow morning. Good night, and I'll see you in the morning.